Hello, I'm Doug with SETCOM. Today we will cover the operating instructions for the Liberator Max wireless headset system. As you'll see, it's a very easy product to use and you'll quickly be able to talk with your crew. The Liberator Max is the most advanced team communication system on the market today. It's completely wireless and standalone. There's no base stations or installation required with the product. You simply turn it on and you're instantly connected to others with up to eight operating channels. First, you'll wanna make sure that the antenna is installed to ensure optimal operating range for the system. Turn the volume control clockwise in order to turn on the headset. You will immediately hear one to three audible beeps that will indicate the battery level status. One beep is a low charge, two beeps is a medium charge, three beeps is a full charge, followed by a verbal indication on the current channel that the headset is on. The headset will be on the last channel that was used and will begin sending and receiving audio within six seconds. The LED status indicator will start yellow, then turn green. As other headsets on the same channel are turned on, they will join the network if they are on the same channel. There may be situations where you'll want to mute the microphone so your voice is not heard by other crew members. To mute the headset microphone, press once on the mic button on the right ear cup. There'll be two audible beeps. Press again to unmute and there will be two different tones that you'll hear. To change the current channel, press and hold the mic mute button for five seconds Four. and the headset will begin to cycle through the five. available operating channels. Continuing Six. to hold down the button will advance the channel once each second. All headsets need to be on the same channel to remain connected as a network, unless the operator is intending to join another network. If needed, a portable radio can be attached to the headset with a suitable SETCOM PRAC cable. With the portable radio off, attach the PRAC adapter to the accessory port on the radio. Then plug the smaller round connector into the jack on the left ear cup. Then turn the radio on. The radio's volume control will set the received audio volume in the headset. To transmit over the radio, press and hold the PTT button on the left ear cup and release it when transmission is completed. After 15 minutes of no movement, the headset will go into sleep mode to save battery and the LED will turn off. When the headset is moved or picked up, it will wake up and resume normal operation. If the headset isn't going to be used for a long period of time, it's recommended to turn it off using the volume control knob. You can turn off the headset by turning the volume control knob fully counterclockwise until a click is heard. To charge the headset, plug a power source into the charging jack on the left ear cup. The power source needs to be 5 to 14 volts DC and can be a wall wart power supply or a cable providing 12 volt power. While charging, the LED will be orange and the headset can be used while charging if needed. A full charge from low battery condition takes approximately six hours. Once a network is established, all the users will be able to hear and speak to each other. If one user moves out of range, the other users will not receive a notification and will not be able to speak or hear that user. If that user moves back into range, communications resume normally. If a group of users, all in the same channel, splits into two groups by moving out of range, they will form a new network. Still in the same channel, if they then move back into range, they will meld back into the original network. Two networks can exist simultaneously without interference if they are on separate channels, but they will not be able to communicate with each other. A solid green light indicates that the headset is on and not charging. A solid orange light indicates that the headset is charging. The headset can be turned on or off. A blinking yellow light indicates that the headset is fully charged, plugged into charging cable, and the headset is turned off. If no light is on the LED, the headset is turned off and unplugged, or battery is completely discharged, or headset is on and asleep, plugged in or not. If the LED flashes orange 10 times, the channel has been changed and is saving new settings to memory. And that wraps up the operating instructions for the Liberator Max. Thanks for watching. If you happen to need further assistance, please do not hesitate to contact our technical support team at 650-965-8020, extension 703, or tech at setcomcorp.com.